How's it going? Today's video is going to be an update video of a video I've done in the past. Uh, we are going to use Cheat Engine to be able to alter the jump value of Jump King. So what that means is I'll be able to change a value in Cheat Engine to basically teleport myself up to the next platform above me. But what's better than that is I've learned two things since the last video. I've learned an easier way to find the value so it's easier to, you know, to be able to do this little glitch or cheat whatever you want to call it and i've also found a way that you can glitch yourself into the map and you can still move and gain height while in the map so it's a really great thing um and before i get into the video any further please like and subscribe these kind of videos get a lot of hate so anything uh, that you could do to help out i uh, will be greatly appreciated and with that let's get right into the video so we're going to start off with cheat engine on the screen uh if you need a download link to cheat engine i'll leave it in the description just make sure when you're downloading it you keep an eye out for anything that like they try to throw into the download like would you like to download some random extra software with it just make sure you skip those um, but once you get it downloaded uh, and you have it open you want jump king and cheat engine open at the same time and you're going to hit this monitor icon and you're going to select the process of jump king and i'm going to hit open here um, to go ahead and start off the search uh, it looks intimidating but i promise you it's not that bad the scan type and the value type are going to be the two things we change here okay so value type make sure that's selected as all and the scan type for now we're going to hit unknown initial value okay and then we're going to hit first scan the number is going to be absolutely massive and uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to get that number as low as possible so we're going to go ahead and jump up to the next platform in jump king and we have to remember that jump king is inverted so tech like when you think logically you would think oh if i go up then a number would have gotten bigger but the number that we can't see that we're trying to find is inverted so the next scan type is going to be decreased by um and just follow along if it's confusing I, I completely understand but just understand we started at the bottom and now we jumped up to a platform and so we're going to look for a value that decreased in this massive list and we're going to hit next scan so it got a little smaller we're going to jump up again and we're going to keep it on decreased value we're going to hit next scan now we're getting into the you know 570,000. it's really not that bad now we're going to jump down which means we increased the value we're looking for we're going to hit next scan i'm going to jump down again next scan and now we're going to go to unchanged value and we're going to hit next scan like you know three or four times and that really should start bringing down this number um, we can even go into jump king and move around a little bit but as long as we stay on this bottom platform we can say that it remained unchanged so we were in the millions earlier and now we're down into the hundreds and out of nowhere we are down at 27 and that is perfect so now is the fun part now we have to find out which one of these 27 values is the value that alters his height um, an easy way to do that is just to select one hold shift and select the last one on your screen right click and it's a little bit off of the the video here but there's a thing that says change value of selected address we're going to select that and we're going to put in the value of zero and just hit enter and as you can see jump king just moved so that tells me that one of these values here actually moved jump king so now i'm going to select like the lower half i'm going to hold shift i'm going to do the same thing change value of selected addresses i'm going to go zero he moved a little bit so i know it's one of these i'll select the uh the top of the first half change value to zero he moved again um so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the top three and i'm really just trying to hone in on which one it is change it to zero he didn't move on that one so that means it's going to be one of these bottom ones change value selected address zero he moved i'll bring both of these down by double clicking on them and now that they're at this bottom you can simply double click on a value and just hit zero and he moved for that one um, so i'm going to go ahead and delete this other record and now we have the value or the number that alters his height so if i come in here and hit zero 
he teleports so this is the basic way so with this being done i can line myself up with a platform underneath me or above me and i can decrease this value to make myself go up and it's all up to you being able to like learn if i change this to a 200 so i decrease the value of 100 then i only went up like a quarter of the screen so if i decrease this value by 200 to make it 102 i went up a little more and you kind of keep messing with that and you'll learn if i want to teleport a full screen it's probably minus 500 if i want to go screen and a half it's like minus a thousand something along those lines so now that you have the value where you can alter his height now is where the fun part starts um using this value if you go down jump king goes up but if you go up then jump king can actually go down and while he is glitched inside of a wall you can still move and on top of that if you tap your jump button he starts floating to the top so anytime you're in an area where the left or right side of the screen have a wall that go all the way to the top you can actually glitch inside the wall walk to the edge and go ahead and jump and jump king will just start floating all the way to the top so with this glitch or with this cheat you know you can alter the value one at a time with alignment of the platforms to just teleport on the screen up and up or when able take advantage of a, a wall glitch inside of it and then just jump and you'll float all the way to the top um, you will eventually get to a spot where you'll stop moving up um, one of them is actually coming up pretty soon but if you jump again while you're in the wall you can increase you can change the speed so if you tap it he goes up slow if you click and hold he'll go up faster um, but right up here is a spot where there's an, a gap. So all you have to do is go ahead and alter this. Um, so I'll make this like 6,300 and I'm back on the wall. I'll jump again. Um, do keep in mind that there is a certain section up here where the wind blows. And so you have to move around slightly to compensate for the wind which is a lot easier if you're going slower. So I just did a small jump there. But um, anyway, if you can see here on this first map, this thing is absolutely broken how high it can take you. But we are coming up on the, the stop for that spot. So that's how high it'll take you. And then you got to start. It follows me all the way back down here. But it doesn't matter because I can glitch back into the wall or I can now start doing this platform and I'm already over halfway done with the first level. So that is the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I know it can be a little bit challenging finding that value. Uh, so add me in Discord um, and go into the general chat and just let me know you're having some trouble. And I'll see if I can't find an easier way uh, to hone down on that value. But uh, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, like I said before, this kind of video gets a lot of hate. So like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.